A week has passed since my last video and I decided to start working on this again. I had a few too many ales last night but that doesn't necessarily stop me. Never has in the past, never will. Decided to uh, tackle the capacitors starting with the C sharp board which was the one that was giving me trouble. Now I was fortunate enough to have been lent the desoldering station from work because well last thing I really needed was to um, use a hand solder sucker on a hell of a lot of capacitors. Now I'll just pull this thing out gently you can see all the one microfarad capacitors have been replaced over here now here, 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 here. I'll also replace the 50, 50 microfarad capacitor there which was a big red jobby let me pull out another one see that's what the old one looked like that's a 50 microfarad a popular 40 microfarad one there I think that seemed to have done the trick because um, oh yeah also on the uh, was the amplifier board well teeny weeny amplifier board and such I placed a whopping big capacitor and a couple of little these over there and if you remember that really crappy warbly note let me just slip that past yeah, there. these things are a bit finicky alright if you remember the C sharp key hey isn't that lovely Put the heavy vibrato on. Yep, yeah, there it is. No more of that <laughs> thing happening anymore. So that seems to be cured. Work ain't over yet. I've still got another 11 cards to do. So that's going to be fun, to say the least. Best I get cracking on that. While I'm waiting for the desoldering iron to um, warm up, may as well show you what one of these oscillator cards looks like. Now this one here is for A. You can see chock full of germanium transistors, a whopping great big slug tuned um, inductor, which you use to actually tune the note. And um, each of these electrolytics, one microfarad, is um, used as a coupling cap for the output of the various well divider outputs and the fundamental um, so each oscillator card basically has you know the oscillator itself which is the highest note then it is divided down across the keyboard I'll just spin around okay let's have a look here right, V I assume is for the vibrato input um, positive rail, negative rail, F for fundamental uh, let me see, scratch that away. I think it's, yep, 1D, so the first divided down input, 2D, 3D, 3D, yep, I can just make it out. 4D, 5D, and nothing. I don't know what that is for. 6D, I think the C key is the only one that uses the 6 divided down output. So, yeah, that's how you get all your notes across the keyboard. Um, let me just turn that SOB around. We can have another nice little look, see that? Alright, I'm going to continue. Oh, look at that, there's a little ant. Oh, so I've done the C sharp and the F key. Now I'm going to do the A key and then have a little bit of a break and tackle the rest and see how we go. Another thing I've noticed on this thing is um, regarding the E keys. Looks like um, one of the dividers has got a lower output than the rest. Um, for example, uh, we've got it set on 8 foot there, so if I go here, decent volume, go here, drops, go here, back to normal. Now if I go to 16, that one should be quieter, back to normal, quiet, normal, 4, if I go to here, really quiet. So, um, looks like I'm working on the e-board next, so, um, see how that goes. Hopefully it's just a crappy capacitor. I assume it is a crappy capacitor, it's got to be that, but we'll soon find out. Capacitors replacing all the e-keys, so now... Mm. 
all good. Right, rest of the boards. All right, over here what we have is a sea oscillator. Now, um, the reason I'm showing you this is slightly different from all the others for the simple fact that this section is populated, adds another divider for the um, low C. It's rather densely packed. So it's got an extra capacitor there I've got to replace. But other than that, pretty much the same as the others. But I'd figured I'd show you. Because, well, why not? There we go. New capacitors on the C oscillator. Um, I'm just going to pop it back in and do some more. Oh yeah, one thing I failed to mention, I will have to do all the 25 microfarad ones. I'm still awaiting those, but, you know, it should be a relatively easy job. Well, relatively easy in comparison to everything else, but, you know, meh. Okay, I'm down to four oscillators. One, two, three, four. Yep, starting to get tedious. Hence the reason I'm relying on gin and tonic. That is not water, gin and tonic. Liquid enthusiasm. Alright, I've finished for the day, replaced all the capacitors in the oscillators except for those 25 microfarad things, because I don't have any, so I'm going to leave them until another day until I receive them. But it works. Much better. Yuck. Yuck. Well, that's all the old capacitors. Well, still got more to go. There you go. Yeah. And so far. Jesus.